He may be somewhat doer in his role as Jon Snow, but off-screen, he's much more relatable. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 cutest Kit Harington moments. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at our favorite non-performance moments from this Game of Thrones actor. You pull your bow string and shoot me wildly. Number 10, his reaction to Charles Dance talking about sex on the show. And, and I was just astonished at the amount of rumpy pumpy that he's in it. It's, it's, and there's nudity but, and sex every five minutes, it's great. In 2014, several members of the Game of Thrones cast appeared together for an interview on the Jonathan Ross show. Kit Harington sat alongside his co-stars Rose Leslie and Charles Dance, and they got into a discussion about sex on the show. It was all doggy fashion. <laughs> Hold on. Of all the people to say that to me tonight, I didn't think that would come from you, Charles. <laughs> Dance pointed out that at least in the first few episodes of the show, a certain position seemed to be favored above the rest. Without I thought Kit no would start forward. talking about positions. <laughs> Kit's reaction is adorable because he seems totally shocked by the explicit detail that Dance is getting into. Even though he's had his fair share of sex scenes, it seems he isn't above being a little bashful about them. Number 9. Reacting to Jimmy Kimmel's daughter's crush on him. In a 2017 interview on Jimmy Kimmel Live, Kimmel and Harrington joke about Jon Snow's miraculous recovery before getting into the really serious stuff, Jimmy's daughter's big crush. Kit was featured on the cover of Esquire prior to the taping, and Jimmy said he put the magazine in his bathroom for some light reading. He's cute. Who is? Um, he. He's cute? Yeah. When his daughter came across it, her reaction was completely heart-melting. Kit clearly wasn't expecting the revelation that he had toddler fans, but he took it in stride, appearing to be just the right amount of embarrassed. Did you know you have a rabid toddler fan base? No, <laughs> no this is new to me, this is great. <laughs> Number 8. Getting out of a parking ticket So you're alive. <laughs> I'm alive. Yeah. After his character was killed off on Game of Thrones, fans were rabid to find out whether he would somehow be coming back to life in the following season. Very few people knew the truth, but Kit was one of them and had to keep the secret for many months before the storyline was revealed to the viewers. No you, one you didn't knew. tell anyone else. I told mom and dad straight away. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. He shared this story with Jimmy Fallon, though, about how he had told his big secret to one member of the public, a police officer who pulled him over for speeding. And he said, look, there's two ways we could do this. You can either follow me back to the police station now and I book you in, or you can tell me whether you live in the next series of <laughs> The story is almost too good to be true, and the officer's response is classic. So I, I looked at him and went, I, I, I'm, I'm alive next season. And he, <laughs> and he goes, he says, mm -hmm. on your way, Lord Commander. <laughs> Number seven, trying and failing to be good at dinner parties. Spring is officially sprung. <laughs> Winter is coming. In 2015, Seth Meyers put together a sketch for his show where he brought along Kit Harrington to a dinner party. The thing is, though, he came in character as Jon Snow. The snow will fall 100 feet deep. The ice wind will howl out the north, and the sun hides its face for years, and little children will all be born and die in the darkness. As you can imagine, the bastard of Winterfell isn't exactly the best party guest and can't help but spread his doom and gloom instead of keeping up with the conversation. You know, my mom is actually from Napa. I didn't know that. Yeah. I never knew my mother. Even when Seth instructs him on how to perfect his small talk game, he can't quite get a grasp on it. Kit's ability to make fun of himself here is perfectly on display. Do you and your father keep in touch? His head was chopped off. <laughs> Number 6. His Game of Thrones Audition you know nothing, Jon Snow. In 2017, Jimmy Kimmel treated his audience to some never-before-seen footage of Kit Harington's audition for HBO's Game of Thrones. In the skit, Kit goes through impersonations of some of Westeros' best-known characters, including Cersei, Daenerys, Arya, Hodor, and a White Walker. When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to have sex with my brother. Cut. Thank you. While John may take himself a little too seriously on the show, it's clear that Kit doesn't in real life. Why, hello, Carl Drinker. <laughs> Would you 
would like to see my dragons. Not to mention, his impressions of his co-stars are strikingly accurate. We could have watched him go through the entire cast. Hugo! Hugo! Hi. Number five, judging Jon Snow impersonators. Windsor is coming. Sorry. As Jon Snow, Kit Harington has quite a distinctive way of speaking, and it turns out his speech style is pretty popular to mimic. Did you know? Every Kellogg's Frosty Flake starts as a grain of corn. In 2015, when he was a guest on Jimmy Kimmel Live, Jimmy had Kit judge three Jon Snow impersonators who each read something mundane in Jon's signature serious voice. May it contain traces of peanut. <laughs> Kit clearly has just as much fun with it as the audience does, and seems genuinely impressed by the skills of those competing. Some of them manage to be even more Jon Snow than Kit himself. Gently cleans. With zero heavy build-up. <laughs> Number four, when he scared his fiance. <laughs> Kit Harrington may not seem like much of a practical joker, but it turns out he comes from a long tradition of April Fool's pranksters. On April 1, 2017, Kit decided to terrify his partner and former co-star Rose Leslie with a prank that left her in tears. When she went to get a glass of water from the fridge in the morning, Kit had placed a severed head prop on the shelf for her to see. Okay, here's what she saw. This is what Kit hid in the fridge. Her reaction is genuine and priceless, and Kit said that she made it very clear that if he pulled something like that again, their relationship would be over. She pretty much told me if I did it ever again, that would be it, and I think that's <laughs> marriage included. <laughs> Number three, shenanigans with Amelia Clark. Kit Harrington and Amelia Clark have been co-stars since Game of Thrones first aired in 2011, but they didn't actually have any scenes together until the show's seventh season. Then why are you here? Because I need your help, and you need mine. Ever since they started acting alongside each other, though, the two have been seemingly inseparable, both on screen and off. It seems that the two friends make time for plenty of fun on set, posting adorable selfies and goofing around during their downtime. We don't know what's in store next for the wolf and the dragon, but we're keeping our fingers crossed that they'll continue their adorable off-screen friendship. Number two, his proposal to Rose. And I sort of uh, kind of blew my load early. <laughs> Hold on, Jon Snow and Egret may not have been destined to live happily ever after in the show, but the two actors who portray them seem to have found lasting love. Kit Harrington and Rose Leslie have been dating since meeting on set, and in 2017 made a real commitment when they announced their engagement, just a couple of months after Nicole Kidman bullied Kit about it on James Corden's show. Are you gonna get married or...? Oh, wow! <laughs> when talking to Jonathan Ross, Kit described how he had planned an elaborate proposal, but couldn't wait, and ended up popping the question a day early. Can we all say, aww? Yeah, I, saw, I was meant to do it the day after with the lights, but what I meant to say is I, I <laughs> popped my question a bit early. Not, <laughs> not my line. Number one, Game of Thrones the musical. Oh, thank you, Jon Snow. This kid. Thank you, Kid Snow. Seeing any Game of Thrones cast members out of character is always a treat. So getting the chance to put them all together to create a musical about the show was an opportunity that no one could pass up. Daenerys Targaryen, when you wanna reach me, and if you feel the love, then you can call me Khaleesi. Chris Martin of Coldplay teamed up with some of our favorite figures from Westeros to create this hilarious video for charity. One of the highlights is Kit Harington's rendition of Wild Thing, where he changes the lyrics to Wildling and sings for partner Rose Leslie. Wildling. Of course, Leslie gets a chance to throw in a you-know-nothing Chris Martin before all is said and done. Just um, one tiny thing. On the lings, just be careful going a little bit flat, so... No, it wasn't. You know, nothing Chris Martin. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.